dropped. <laughs> Hi there. Welcome back to another cooking video. This one troublesome boy. I think today I might want a sweet treat. Sweet like honey. Honey sweet treat. The Book of Secret Recipes. Please give me a sweet treat to cook today because I like sweets. Today, the Book of Secret Recipes wants apple pie. So now, let's make like the one troublesome boy apple pie original recipe. So we're gonna be making a very regular one troublesome boy original apple pie recipe. So let's start. I'm going to show you guys some troublesome tips on how I like my ideal apple pie. The first order of business is to measure out a highly inaccurate two cups of all-purpose flour. It's as close to two cups we're gonna get without using a gram scale as a weight measurement. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Add this flour to your bowl of choice. Get your butter next. This is the butter I use. Cause we don't wanna use no GMO butter. No, can't believe it's not butter. That's not butter. Wait, can you believe that? Grab the stick of butter, the stick, one stick first, and chop it into cubes. Do you see how long this butter is taking? So now, I'm just gonna complete with the other stick, and then we will add some more ingredients. The butter is all cubed up. I forgot to mention that this is a, a salted butter. Because we don't want to use unsalted. Because I'm, I guess I'm a salty person. Just one teaspoon of salt. Now we're going to mix it. You have to mix it aggressively. Can't be too soft and polite with it. It is now mixed thoroughly. Can you see how it's so thoroughly mixed? So set it aside. Now get one of your whitest of white bowls. Crack two eggs into it. But you just want the egg yolks. Separate the egg yolk and add to your clearest of clear bowls. Now repeat with your other egg. Get a tablespoon and get the water. Five tablespoons of water. Now bring your big bowl back and add your egg mixture in. Mix it, toss it, grab it, twist it, spin it, everything that does with mixing. Now a nice dough has formed. It's not too sticky. It's like crumbly almost. Like a little bit moist. 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 Now get one of those bags the grocery store gives you. Now place your dough inside it. So the dough is now in the bag. So we're gonna Wrap this up nicely. Let's take it to the fridge. Those are my fridge sounds. Now listen to this. Listen, listen. You heard that? That was the fridge close. So now we're gonna leave the dough in the fridge for 30 minutes. For it to harden up, 
and get all hard. The pie crust is now done. So let's start working on the apples. I have these apples here. One of them, they're a little bit bruised, but they still smell delicious. Grab each apple, one by one, because I'm holding the camera with the other hand. But don't worry about that. Let's give the apple a quick win. Let's start chopping all of these apples. All these quarters are now chopped. We're going to go like this. So now in this bowl are 16 quarters of apple. I will repeat with the rest of these apples. So I initially planned to cut like eight apples, but look at what, what turned out. How many, how many apples? Four apples was. It like filled up the bowl with apples. Like this is like so many apples already. So this is what we're gonna use for our recipe today. Now it's time to start the fun stuff. I am now here at the stove. Add in the juice of two lemons. Now add half a cup of the precious apple cider. Turn on the fire. The delicious fire. Don't eat fire, children. Now add half a cup. Do you see it? Half a cup of the precious brown sugar. Now mix it with the bamboo spoon. Mix it very good like, like that. Now add your peeled apple slices, your double quarter quarters in there. Pro chef tip, whenever you Pro chef tip, before you chop your apples up into quarters quarters, you have to peel them first. I just forgot, that's why I had to peel them manually, individually, but now they're all peeled, so it's all right now. So now mix your apples up inside that syrup mixture of the apple cider, lemon, and sugar. Mix it up good and turn up the heat super high, like. Now we're gonna let it cook until like the, the steam starts coming off the top of it. Ooh, smells so good! One tablespoon of cinnamon. a tablespoon nutmeg, a little pinch of salt, just like that. Give it a toss, toss, toss it, toss it. Add one fourth of a cup more sugar, once you see it starting to get thick. Now we just let it cook until all the apples are soft. I broke all of the apple pieces into little cubes so that they fit in the pie nicer, nicerly. <laughs> These apples are now fully cooked to perfection. So let's bring it over there to the counter and bottle it up and pour it into the bottle. Make sure it all gets in that bottle, the glass bottle. You don't want it to melt the plastic. The bottle is now filled with the apple pie filling. Deliciousness. Now, let's get started on that dough. Now we're gonna form them into two discs. flour accordingly. Big word, like a boss. 
and you can see it's becoming a nice sheet of crust. Don't stretch the dough careful. After doing a bit of handiwork around the edges, we're gonna place it in the fridge. I'm gonna leave it in the fridge for like uh, 30 minutes. Now roll out your other dough half. This dough is now ready and then we will put it on top after we add the filling inside. We're just gonna wait for the pie crust to finish cooling down and getting hard and then I'll add this on top after I add the filling. But meanwhile, preheat the oven to 350, 365 degrees. Before we can place the dough on top of the, the pie crust, you want to slash, put some slashes, apple slashes, apple pie original, like this, one more, and then you just your slashes all around the edge so that no steam builds up anywhere along the way. Gently. You don't want to break the dough. Crust fridge time update. It's 10 minutes left, but we're going to make it another 30. That's 50 minutes of pie crust fridge time. And you put that apple filling in there too. That really helped with the you don't melt the crust before you even put the filling in. This pie crust has now been cooling for 50 minutes. Let's add the filling. When you pour this in, make sure your filling is completely smooth. I mean cooled. Completely cooled. Now flatten it out. Make it look really nice. Now this pie is ready for the oven, you will trim off these excess bits when it comes out. Place it in the oven. Top shelf. Now we're gonna close the oven. Now let's let it bake for 45 minutes. We will probably check on it before the 45 minutes are done, but the 45 minutes is like the entire cook time unless they need a little bit longer to cook completely. This pie has been cooking for 20 minutes. Let's check it. Whoa, it's like starting to bubble. But the crust is getting crusty. Ow, wow, wow. Whoa, I think the finger is gone. I'm gonna let this bake for another 20 minutes, then we're gonna check and see if it's like done. Look how beautiful that looks. It has now been 45 minutes, so let's check it again. Look at that pie. Mm, but that apple smell is just divine. I'm gonna try to take it out. Here the pie is taken out. It's not done yet. Turn down the heat to a good 275 so that it can like cook slower. Now we're gonna leave it on 275 for another 20 minutes. Also, before you put it back in, we're gonna give it a good aluminum foil covering very gently over the edge of the pie. Now we can put it back in. Now it will complete its cooking. So we cover it with aluminum foil so that the edges don't burn. We don't want any black, black, black bowl pie. 20 minutes has just ended for the aluminum foil covered apple pie. So let's Take it out now. So it is currently 10.07 p.m. So I'm gonna leave this pie here until tomorrow morning when I wake up and then we'll cut it open and like, taste it. Say goodnight, my beautiful pie. It is now the following day. The pie has been cooling overnight. So let's reveal it. What? It feels so, so 
delicious. Let us now delicately cut a slice. Now grab your fanciest of fancy yellow plates. Let's see if I can get the slice out. Now you have your beautiful slice of apple pie on the plate. Do you see the plate with the apple pie on it? Now you have a fork, a delicious fork, deliciousness. Now put the fork on the tippy tip. Do you see the pie? Why is it so beautiful? It's probably one of the best apple pies I've ever made. When you try this pie, make sure to let me know your thoughts on my original recipe. <laughs>